Who is telling you to walk alone? Okay. We are told to fellowship. Okay. To be there for one another. Especially for those in the faith. Okay. God said. Okay. God. You know God. He said it's not good for man to be alone. Okay. We are social creatures. We have been built to socialize with one another. So when you come to Christ, you are being consecrated. You are being set apart. God is teaching you how to be holy. You're having a one-on-one -on -one session with the Lord. And then you need to step out of your cave and learn how to be an extrovert for Jesus. Okay? We are commanded to disciple others. Right. So, yeah, you are not to walk this path by yourself. You're going to have to learn to socialize with human beings. OK, because you have a purpose in this life and you have gifts and your gifts are going to attract people to the Lord. Also, you know, you are a part of. Of the body of Christ. How can the hand. Say to the arm. I don't need you. How can the mouth say. To the ear. I don't need you. You know that's part right there. If you think that you're supposed to walk. This path by yourself. Like who do you think that you are. Okay. That everybody is just evil. Everybody's out to get you. And you're the only one that's got it right. You're the only one that is righteous. So that is why you can't interact with other human beings. Okay. That is why you're always right all of the time. That is why you are filled with so much knowledge. Okay. So much wisdom that you can't even, you know, Take the time to be around others, okay? You're just too good for them. You're enlightened. No. If you're thinking like that, you have been deceived. You need to learn how to be an extrovert for Jesus. Get out of your cave and start socializing. Start, you know, making a connection with people. Okay, now use wisdom, use knowledge. Okay, learn from your experiences. I'm not saying you to go out there and be best friends with the next person that you see. But, you know, remove that bitterness out of your heart. Okay, it's not about you. It's about Jesus Christ. And that's just what it is. People don't like to hear that, but that's what it is. It's not about you. And if you don't like hearing that, you know, and you claim to be a child of God and read your Bible, okay, we'll go to the part where it says that you're supposed to pick up your cross. Pick up your cross. You are going to suffer, okay, whether you're following the Lord or not. But if you're following the Lord, he teaches you. How to get through the suffering with him. You're going to suffer in this life. Pick up your cross. And stop having that victim mentality. Okay. You are a victor through Jesus Christ. So get out there and make disciples. Get out there and make friends. Okay. Make friends. We used to not do that. It's okay to do that now. All right. Proceed with caution. Can't trust it, everybody, of course. But the Holy Spirit, you know, gives you discernment, you know. So be wise as a serpent, but gentle as a dove. You know, spend that time with the Lord. So that you do not grow bitter and just push everybody away. Okay. Love you. Good night.